Good morning. Happy Friday. I apologize about my view. I'm driving the other vehicle that we own um, and it does not have my camera holder. <laughs> but today is weigh-in day. Not too happy with the results. I gained 2.4. Just gonna put it right out there for you. Um, last week I had lost three. This week I gained 2.4, which kind of makes sense, I guess, over the two weeks that I would have like a gain of 0.4 versus a huge loss and a huge gain. Um, so yeah, I'm a little frustrated there. And um, that's just the way it goes, I guess. I, I think, if you think about it, for me, again, I, I kind of explained it on my last weigh-in video that when I had that three pound loss, I really didn't think that it was a true loss. Like, it felt truly like um, I was dehydrated. So, um, I was extremely busy running around, uh, doing a lot of things those uh, few days leading up to my loss and lost a lot of water weight through sweating. Um, probably wasn't drinking enough water to replenish the amount of fluid I was losing. So, uh, yeah, that was, that's my justification on that loss. I mean, it was just so unlikely that I would have like this huge, massive three pound loss, you know, um, out of nowhere. And then today when I had my 2.4 pound gain, um, remember how I said last week that I, I didn't feel like there was anything different that I had done. You know, some weeks I can do really well, so that's kind of how I would define this previous week that, I, that I've been on right now. Um, I feel like, you know, for the most part, I've been pretty consistent with my eating. Um, I guess going forward into this next week, my goal will be then that I'm going to focus on uh, blue dots. Um, just keep putting that in the front of my mind, finishing off each day strong. And just working on one day at a time, not looking at it like I've got a week ahead of me, I can make errors and screw up and eat however I want on the first half of the week and then really take care of myself the second half of the week. I think that's, that's so dangerous. That's a dangerous thinking. So my goal that I'm going into this next week will be that I'm going to aim for blue debts every day, be consistent with um, eating on plan every day <laughs> um, and not have as many um, cheat meals as as I did last week. And I can say that because, I mean, it was a holiday. Uh, there was a lot of times where we were eating out with um, my kids, like my daughter came to town and she stayed for a day or two. Um, we were saying goodbye to my son, to college. I mean, you're just going to have no life problem, not problems, normal life situations that, you know, that uh, overeating or um, not getting your blue dot is, is just not possible on those days. And it's okay. It's not like that's the end of the world. So moving ahead, going forward, my goal is blue dot every day, um, eating on plan most of the time, I would say like 90% of the time, 90-10 versus three quarters of the time. Anyways, and then, um, oh, another thing that I started new last week, the month of September, I have that unlimited workout pass at my YMCA. And um, so I can go as often as I want to workout classes. And so the very first week of September, because I'm kind of new at this and I don't really know what I'm doing, I went twice this past week. So me and my girlfriend, she bought a pass too. And then so her and I have been going and that's the goal then going forward would be to keep doing those classes. So, so far we've done two a week and maybe I'll challenge myself this coming week to do three um, classes. So. The goal is now, today is Friday, I am, we've got a football game tonight, um, it's a little ways out of town, um, like the next neighboring city, and then tomorrow we're 
driving all the way to Indiana and we're going to a college football game that we're covering. And then Sunday I'm back home, which means getting my menu ready, getting my meals set for the following week. Um, and then I think Monday or Wednesday will be my workout day. If you can see me. Monday or Wednesday will be my workout day next week, one of my workout days, and then Friday. So um, the past two days this week, we both, uh, we went to the same class twice. It was called um, cardio conditioning. And so this coming week, we're going to be going to, um, I think there was like a strength training class and then a HIIT class. Unless it's a boot camp camp class. I'm not too sure exactly. But that, um, I'll tell you next week as it rolls around which uh, days we're going to go to what classes. So I'm going to try to find a third class that may be offered um, after work because the classes we've been taking have been in the morning before work at like the 5.30 time frame. And that's all nice, but I don't know if I want to continue trying to um, wake up early each day, each week to do that. Plus, I'm noticing on the days that I'm going to work out that early in the morning that by the time I get home from work, I'm just so pooped and exhausted that I'm not even getting in the rest of my steps for the day um, to try to equal 10,000. So I really got to try to find a good balance um, and not like overdo it. So that is the goal going forward, people. How is your week going? For anybody else that's weighing in today being Friday, how is your way in? I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, it's a beautiful day. We're starting to get some more fall-like weather, which is wonderful up here in Wisconsin. Less humidity, more cooler temps. Today's high, I think, is going to be between 70 and 72. And I'll take it. I love it. We actually get to sleep with our windows open um, and not have the air on. And my son treated me last night by coming home from college. And it just was so nice to catch up with him last night and find out how his week is going at college. So, yeah, that's exciting. So many fun things to look forward to and so many exciting, um, you know, goals to try to crush. I just love that that um, Kim at Fit Mama and Marvelous, <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong. Oh, gosh. Anyway, she just does this daily thing where she she writes out her goals for the following day, the night before, and she just tries to crush those daily goals every single day. And I love that. I love that. I need to be doing more of that. So um, I'm going to hold myself accountable and try to um, write out goals the night before for the following day so that I stay on track and just take it one day at a time, people. That's all you got to do. One day at a time. Hey guys, now it's after work and I am at the base, or no, not baseball, <laughs> football game. And I'm getting ready to um, be cameraman number two for our Zaleski Sports Show. This is our family business that I do on the side. And um, just getting ready to... Let's go, boys! <laughs> a lot of boys out here playing football. A lot of fun. So, anyways, just wanted to let you guys know that i um, got a big, long weekend ahead of me. So, just can't wait to sit back, relax, and enjoy as much as I can. And um, I hope you guys all are having good weigh-ins today. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful, amazing day. Make sure that you um, love yourself, love each other, and stay fit. And get fit. You got this.